and a very good afternoon to you. When one door closes, another one opens. We're saying hello to Janusz and Marika. When one door closes, another one opens is a popular saying in England. And some time ago, I heard a true story from Hungary. It was all about Jeno and Marika. Jeno was a very good carpenter, and Marika, his wife, was a brilliant cook. But both Jeno and Marika had one thing in common. Doors. And this is Jeno's and Marika's story. Once upon a time, Jeno's and Marika's house used to be a very nice little house. It had a back door, a front door, a garden in the front, and a garden at the back. All very normal and all very pretty. Then this nice little house became something unusual. It became a confusion of doors. A house with many ways in and many ways out. The first new front door was not long in coming. Yeno and Marika put it in the side of the house, which then became the new front of the house, because it was nearer to where they parked their car. Quite sensible when you think about it. So now Yeno and Marika had one back of their house, an old front of their house, a new front of their house, and one side instead of two. And the dog, which used to be tied up at the back of the house, was then, without being moved, tied up at the front. Meanwhile, Yeno's business became very successful, and Yeno and Marika, because of deliveries of timber, were having to park their car at the last remaining side of the house, which didn't have a door. And this was not very convenient. And so, so as to make life easier still, a new front door was built into the side of the house, which was until then neither the front nor the back. But after the new door had arrived, this side of the house then became another front of the house. Now three fronts and one back. But that wasn't all. In order to make life more comfortable, Yeno and Marika then put a door in the first floor, directly above the original front door, which by then had become the latest back door. So in the mornings, when everyone was rushing to get ready, they didn't have so far to go to get to the kitchen, and were able to save one or two seconds by using the new flight of steps, which took them down the outside of the house to where the new back door had appeared. This, of course, worked perfectly well, provided the back door wasn't locked, which it usually was, so nobody used it. But the biggest challenge of all was the bell. Yeno, being creative, had connected all of the doors to the very same bell, so that when people came calling, Marika had no idea at all as to where her guests actually were. So she had to run around from one door to the next until she finally found them. And because people were, on the whole, generally impatient, they too started going around and ringing on all of the other doors too. And so the confusion continued. When one door closes, another one opens. Or, at Yeno's and Marika's, there's always a new door to open and close. When one door closes, another one opens. A true story, related and read by Nigel A. E. James.